Welcome to the Miniature Lettuce Farm. We are a hydroponic farm located in Fayetteville, North Carolina. We specialize in miniature varieties of lettuce and herbs. This collard green was just getting too big. It was crowding out my other plants in my tower and um, it was just taking up too much space. So I decided to take it out and do an experiment using the crack key method and see if I could grow, continue to grow this collard green in a five gallon bucket. Um, so this is just me taking it out and it was kind of difficult. We had to um, work it a little bit to not disturb the leaves too much and break too much of anything. So um, my husband is, is doing his best to be gentle and get it out of there. Once we took it out, the roots were really long, so we decided to cut some of those roots off um, just because we're putting it in a five-gallon bucket now. Here's the bucket that we used. Um, we filled it up with water. It's five gallons of water in here. Mineral blend for these crack key method. Um, I will do a, another video on how I measure and mix um, the minerals up. So just watch out for that video. I will do that next week. So if you have not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications button so that when I post that video, you will be the first one notified. The um, pH was a little bit off. So there we're just trying to put in some um, baking soda to get the pH right. Guys, we had to do this several times. I cut a lot of that out. I'm sure you didn't want to see us stirring and, and pouring. So I cut a lot of that out, but we had to do it a couple times. We finally got it to where we want it to be, to be, to be between 5.5 and 6.5, um, is the perfect pH of where we want it. At this point, I also noticed that I really had too much water in for the crack key sit method. So we actually took about a gallon of water out of this bucket um, so that we could put the, the collard green in. And right now, I know you're saying this collard green is beautiful, it's full, but you have to watch the full video because we actually lost a lot of this, but it grew back. Stay tuned um, to see our progress. This was about a month lapse. Um, I know in the video I say a week later or two weeks, but this was about a month lapse in total. Hey guys, what we did is we took a little bit of water out of the bucket. I was feeling like you don't wanna, you wanna give it enough water, but you don't wanna drown the plant either. So we took some, we scooped water out to, until the roots are in the water, but a little bit of the roots are outside of the water also. Okay, so we will keep you and give you um, updates, let you know how it's going and hopefully it will get huge. These buckets we got from Home Depot and then my husband just put the hole in the top so that the neti cup could fit right in it. Okay, this is two to three days later from when I first put it up under there. And um, today I had to take down some leaves. Do you see how those leaves look kind of yellow, yellowish and not good? You don't wanna leave those 
these were from the underside so what i'm thinking is that the underside is not getting enough light so i've done two things to try to help that i've um put another light up there instead of the one light i had and i also put just some regular aluminum foil i saw this somewhere on the internet to, to help it reflect the light back up on the flowers um to try to get the under the flowers up under to get some light so we'll see um if that actually helps the ones on top look beautiful um it's just the ones on the bottom um, that I'm just getting kind of worried about. So I'm trying to help those. We'll come back in a couple of days um, and see how that has worked. Also, I've checked the pH. The pH in here is fine. Still holding strong. I checked the roots and the water so the roots still look beautiful the water no algae so we're just gonna try to get those under oh lord we're just gonna try to get those um the ones on the bottom a little bit more light to see if that helps and i'm i'm, I'm gonna rotate these also daily to see if that helps so i'll keep you posted all right y'all this is a couple of days later um and the aluminum foil i don't think it's working see so i'm going to take that off I want you to see how nicely all of these up here that are closest to the light is doing. Um, it's definitely a light issue. Um, I did find something on Amazon that um, my husband and I are going to um, order. that should be able to help with the reflection and help it get more light but i wanted you to also see the roots you see those white roots right there that is actually what we want because that's where the plant can get air so it's still sucking up the nutrients and see the water still clean, the roots still look good. It's still sucking up the nutrients, but it's making those air roots also. And I know that is good and that's what we want. So I am not going to give up just yet <laughs> i'm not i'm not i'm not i'm not gonna give up just yet um i'm not sure what this is about i'll keep an eye on that but i'm gonna probably also take this one off But these up here, y'all, are so beautiful and fabulous. And it's getting new ones. So we will definitely keep you posted.
assim. And they definitely were not like that when I took them off of the tower garden. So I'm not going to give up, but we definitely have some, we definitely have some issues that we're going to work out and hopefully, um, with that stuff I'm going to order that will take care of that, hopefully. So, I just took another one off, y'all. Can you see that? All right, y'all. So as you saw from the beginning, and don't worry, I usually have the light on, but it's leaving a glare. See, so I usually have those two lights on, but it was leaving a glare. So I turned them off, but I did not thin this out when I first started growing. And in the tower garden with the um, lights all the way around it it was able to grow like this but trying to grow it in a five gallon bucket where the lights are just on top of it this one is suffering and I think it's also causing this one to suffer so what I'm going to do is now thin it out to try to see if that helps it to grow better because see look look it's just not getting it's just not getting what it needs see and yes it is growing new ones but they're not gonna get the light because they're shaded out from this one so I'm gonna sh cut this one and try to get the other one to to continue to grow see y'all uh, this one it just really and we're gonna cut that down some more don't leave it like that because it's still um it, it still is gonna be using up uh, um uh, the minerals and stuff like that so we're gonna cut that all the way back but i just wanted to show y'all this one really just wasn't getting what it needed now the top ones the new ones yes they look beautiful and we're going to use those but i think we'll do better like this and you see how it was pushing it to the side so now this one can um grow better and stand up taller and do all those things so hopefully this um helps i will come back with in, a, in about a couple of days, a week, and let you see how everything is going from there. It's still looking good in here. You want to look in the bucket. You see those white roots? That's what we want. The other roots are taking up the nutrients, and they look good. So we're going to keep going. And the water still looks good, y'all. Look at those roots, yeah. And look at the water, still clean, still had water in it. I put it in there and did absolutely nothing. Let's 
Roots look beautiful. Plant looks beautiful, y'all. So I think I've shown that you could do this in a five gallon bucket. 